What have I got done today? I think you guys saw that I did the tiling over here in the kitchen. Um, so I've actually I've got a countertop that's going to go in here too. So I've done some tiles there, which be really cool, be easy to clean um, when we're cooking on the other side. I put the clock up and I've actually like changed the movement in the clock to a quartz one because the old one was really old. On the battery setup, <clears throat> we have two small cables coming off, uh, which we're gonna run the 12 volt system, which is down here. And I connected that up, so that's a 48 volt array. Um, and I've got that going into a converter, which converts the 48 volt to 12 volt. Uh, yesterday I got, got all these doors done and they all uh, needed to be adjusted so they magnet to the top and then they nicely click click in and it looks really good. What else have I done? I have, oh man, so there's water on the floor here and it's coming down from this little section here and I'm not sure whether that was um, something that we had a problem with before or whether it's because of the um, solar panels that I put on. So I got up there and I just siliconed a whole heap of brackets for the um, solar panels just in case it was me. Um, but I just, I don't know, I don't think, I don't think it was. Uh, and then yeah, so finally I'm getting to cutting up the um, kitchen counter. So we got this for $79 on special from Ikea. And that's going to fit in underneath the tiling and stuff there. And then there'll be another piece that'll sit here. So we have like nice kitchen countertops and it's kind of an exciting moment to get to. So I just need to like measure it up and cut it. And I have the old one there um, that was in the trailer that I can use as a template for the at least the sink hole and stuff like that. Uh, the only bad thing about this one, I think, there's a messed up corner here. It's there, so I can just I can just like cut around that and not use that corner. Uh, that's what I'm doing now. I'll leave the camera on while I measure some stuff up. Maybe we can make it like a little bit faster, just so you can see what I'm doing. But it's all little uh, bit jobs now to just get it all finalized, like finishing the electrical like wiring all the lights in i have a dilemma where it's like i don't know what like what circuit powers what power point and what light thing and stuff like that so i need to work that out and i also need to run the 12 volt circuits so so yeah lots to do but i'm getting there Seemed like that went uh, all good, except that I uh, cut the end off our table. Like an idiot. Didn't realize how much it curved. Had one little uh, chip out there of the countertop. Just a bit of a bummer, but it's all good. Um, it's right on the line. Cool. So in typical fashion, my uh, saw decided to stop working. Yes, the battery's not flat. Um, but I used the jigsaw and stuff and I managed to get this thing to fit and it's like uh, you know notched out it's really it's really tight so once I get a bit of silicon in the back there it'll be really nice and um, and uh, snug um, the, here there's a fly screen that goes on this window so I need to notch out that for the fly screen but other than that, she's looking pretty good. Pretty happy with it. Um, I think it's gonna look really nice because it's like a matte black. There's not even anywhere I can show you on this, but it's like a matte black uh, finish. And um, the overhangs are, are perfect along the edges here. Yeah, so I'm into it. I feel like, uh, and the color scheme of the, the trailer is gonna look really good. Next day. Uh, it's been one of those days where I haven't had a chance to pick up the camera. Um, <clears throat> a few little things you can see where I'm at. So I just grabbed this and gave it a really good clean and worked out. Uh, I couldn't remember how it gets reassembled. It's, it's actually it's a separate piece and that clamps down together. Um, I cut out the kitchen counter. 
so really like that whole piece that I had gets chopped to pieces um, so that's where the star goes and then this is where the, the sink goes <clears throat> and I line the tap up so the tap will go there like so um, it's really close to the window but Really, there isn't much, you don't have much choice because there's like such a fine line here and you got to account for the, the surrounds on the, on the sink. Um, what's even crazier is there's actually a fly screen that sits behind this. So I need to get that <clears throat> and, uh, and line the fly screen up and see how much I need to cut out of the counter for that before I go too much further. This also needs modifying slightly uh, because you need to have like little notches out on this side and this side for where the like the nice little metal frame around the, the stove goes <clears throat> but other than that that's looking pretty good it's pretty pretty clean I uh, got this bit grouted just waiting a little bit to um, give that a final wipe down <clears throat> but that looks pretty good now it's grouted and I've got the counter for that too um, and I cut that out a little bit um, neater and uh, I just realized I can tell the time. Ha, the clock wax. You can hear a little ch -ch -ch. It's got that nice quartz uh, movement in there. Um, yeah, one of those like bits of days again. I uh, keep doing those because it's just like, sort of a lot of things to do. And uh, I'm trying to like kind of manage what comes before what. Um, but that's what I got done today. All right, next day, wearing the same thing again. I promise you it's clean. I just have the same shirt. Bit of everything again today. And um, <clears throat> I got the new, um, sorry, I got the old stove out, which is just around here, to size up the counter to make sure I cut the hole big enough. Uh, looks pretty good. Hasn't like got too dirty while it's been in storage. I need to clean it up a little bit. Anyway, I was rolling it with the trolley. And then like this, where the roots have grown under our uh, slab over here, it, um, it was just uh, like making it really hard to get the trolley around. So I decided to pick up the pickaxe and just hammer away at it. And I made a pretty good, uh, pretty good dint. This may uh, seem like nothing, but this is literally the most I've been able to do since way before I've started feeling sick, like back in, uh, 2021 some point um and i'm like pumped <laughs> just had to to share this like got a little bit of a fuck you cancer and fuck you to the doctor in the u.s that told me uh i was just getting old man i'm not that old there's lots of people that are like younger than me that couldn't do this so anyway pretty much done it uh i thought i might just film the rest of it on here Uh, I'm out of my over the glasses, protective glasses that Sophia bought me. They don't quite fit the top, but uh, whatever. So uh, I wasn't thinking that I'd get it done today, but freaking did it. This is actually separated from the root. And it'll all come apart now. I could move it. So uh, I'll give myself a day's break and I'll come back to it. But I'm um, pumped, did it. So that's one job I don't have to do later. And I'll just push this mound of soil and blend it in so that way when we're bringing the trailer in it doesn't kick the trailer up and hit the side of the house which it has been doing and it's freaking annoying all right back to your regularly regular scheduled programming
course it doesn't fit. This is the counter. The countertop for the kitchen. This, uh, this hole's good where the sink goes. These were good, um, but I need to cut out here for the um, fly screen and pushes right back. And I think the taps are actually gonna like touch the fly screen at this point, so I need to move these holes forward a little bit, which is okay because there's a like a plate on top that'll cover that. And then we just saw that this is not this gap here is not wide enough for the stove to go in. So I'll have to um, really, really uh, just finally take a trimming thing of that. My freaking uh, circular saw is not working, so I'm going to do it all with this thing. And the battery goes dead so quickly because it's a tiny little one. Um, anyway, we're going to get done. One of the biggest problems I was facing with this old trailer was the wiring because I just, it like just didn't seem to make any sense and uh, it took a lot of testing to work it out. Uh, what actually happened was that there's a little box down here which I just thought was it's a 12 volt pass through, there's a 12 volt battery out there that uh, runs the emergency brakes and stuff like that. I thought that was just for that, but it turns out one of those cables actually links up to this hole up in the far wall above the clock. And then um, that then links to these things in the upper cabinets, which means that there's actually a way of running 12 volt all the way to the back. So the lower circuit in the, in the trailer is actually 110 uh, which is now running off my um, solar inverter and the, high, the upper circuit in the thing is actually and the battery went dead on me um, yeah I don't know where I was but yeah so the upper, upper circuit is 12 volt uh, which has been awesome because that means I don't have to run um, new 12 volt circuits all the way along the floor um, underneath the cabinets and stuff I can actually uh, connect everything so today I got this connected and it's actually running uh, it has an auto setting um, so that it'll just like suck all the warm air out until it gets to 75 degrees and it shuts off and there's there's actually two of those and they're both connected now and I'm just putting in some little lights uh, they're kind of cool um, I mean they're, they're whatever but they got like a black surround that goes on them so it'll kind of match with the whole thing that we got going I spent yesterday sort of uh, touching up paint and everything because like the rivets had all come undone kind of didn't work like the silicon didn't go over the little paint didn't go over the silicon like i'd hoped hoped it would this this side should have 12 volt electrical done which is perfect which is great because now tonight when it gets dark i can uh turn the light on i'm gonna put the the cover for the ac on in a bit in a second which will make this that that look a lot neater and yeah i think i just rambled a lot but it's a mess it's a massive mess in here can't wait to clean it up and um start finalizing some things i gotta put some doors on these yeah, yeah. and then uh yeah finalizing these uh kitchen cabinets and this little shelf over here would be really cool i gotta wire up the fridge too that, that definitely needs a circuit run um i'll just run a new circuit for that underneath the sink but winning what I was doing there I uh, I've never done this before so I was kind of concentrating but I uh, got the sink in and I've 
just realised I've installed it around the wrong way. Damn it. How did I manage that? All right, uh, I'm gonna try just uh, switching the pipe around so like that one goes on that side and that, that one goes on that side. And hopefully that works. Uh, yeah, should work. Fix the, the drain issue. Um, I was around the wrong way and I don't know how I did that, but it's just dumb. I just got the tap on and I got that nicely corked around there. Thinking I might um, seal the back the back of this before I put it into the trailer because that'd be really hard to do. But I'm pretty happy with this. So we're coming out good. I'm running out of sunlight, but looks good. And uh, here's what she looks like. So got it all uh, cleaned up. I'll, I'll show you guys this again in daylight. That's where the oven's gonna go. And I'll put a heat wrap all around that. I think I showed you guys that already. The sink looks good. It's really good. Like I'm glad I did all the back caulking already. So that way I just gotta do the sides <clears throat> down here and around the front and around that side. So that, that way no water's leaking underneath. And uh, the pink and green really go together. Who would have thought? So days finally come where I test fit the oven in place. Everything else is uh, looking pretty good. Kind of small win that I can actually um, charge my phone in here and I just put the uh, the vacuum cleaner on off the power in here. I don't know how much current it draw, drew but uh, it was pretty good. Uh, it's all running off these batteries right now because the sole is not connected. Um, so here's my setup. I'm going to strap this thing to the trolley in the hope that it won't fall as I try and jerk it up these stairs, but I can't actually lift it. So here's hoping that I can get it up. here without damaging any of my handiwork or anything like that without like dropping it breaking it bending it all those things damaging the floor as well because everything kind of bends when you try and pick it up I have to get this um, gas hose in a hole in the back like it needs to come, needs to come through here. So that's a whole nother thing.
she's in. That was a bit of hard work, but she actually fits okay. I feel like I did an okay job of cutting this out. It's gonna look um, real nice. So I gotta peel the plastic off now. So I just have to lift it a little tiny bit. Um, and I'm definitely, as you probably saw, like not strong enough to do that. So I'm gonna I just took this out of the car. It's that little jack, and I'm gonna put a little bit of timber on top of this, and see if I can um, jack the oven up a few inches or an inch, not even a centimeter, and uh, get that um, get that plastic taken off nicely and uh, lower it back down really nicely, and then. Um, finalize it up and cork it in and screw the countertop in and everything. So yeah, nice. So you can see it's just lifted it up enough for me to peel back this plastic and I'll be able to um, get the counter in place for it and screw the counter down, which I'm kind of excited about too. Cool.